A second postal worker in San Diego has tested positive for coronavirus. The first case was reported last month in Rancho Bernardo. News 8's Brandon Lewis spoke with an employee who says the Postal Service could do more to keep them safe on the job. Now, Carlo and Barbara the Postal Service says they notified workers at the Granville station that one of their co-workers tested positive for coronavirus on Monday. Today, one worker who is a mail carrier in San Diego says they think the Postal Service could do more to help protect them. They're not taking it seriously. They're just not. A San Diego letter carrier is speaking out after one of their co-workers tested positive for coronavirus. He spoke with News 8 anonymously because he wasn't authorized by the Postal Service to speak to the media. The six-foot social distancing policy, I mean, they tell us to do it, but based on our job, we do not do it, you know? We're, all, we're in very close proximity to each other every morning and every afternoon. He says he was given gloves and cleaning supplies early on, but not masks, so he wore his own. The Postal Service confirms to News 8 it is not requiring the use of masks, citing CDC guidance, but is allowing employees to wear them if they want. Both the CDC and World Health Organization say there is no evidence you can get coronavirus from your mail, adding, quote, we believe the risk is low for employees who work at the Grantville Post Office, but we will keep our employees apprised as new information and guidance becomes available, unquote. The service also says they're running regular operations as an essential service, but one worker suggests stopping one of their main sources of revenue. My shift could be cut in half if I only deliver the essentials that people need, you know, packages, uh, checks, any kind of medical, you know, information and documents that people are getting to their door. That's fine. I understand why we need to be here for that. But like I said, the majority of what we deliver is still just junk mail. And while he understands it's nice to see a familiar face in the neighborhood, he wants the public to keep a safe distance. You're not supposed to be waiting for me at your door. That's the whole point of this quarantine is that we are not supposed to be interacting. But people are. And just to reiterate the point from the World Health Organization and the CDC, they say there is currently no evidence that you can get coronavirus through the mail. The greatest risk remains in person-to-person -person transmission. Carlo and Barbara Lee, 